I just love women that just do it on their own and they work hard to get to where they are. Being independent <laughs> is definitely a strength that I, what I value and like to see in women. My name is Tony Brianne. I'm 18 years old. I go to Loyola University, Maryland. I major in digital media and my blogs are all about beauty, fashion, and discovery. So I knew when I was looking at colleges, um, I constantly was on YouTube just looking. I went to see like um, actual students and their perspective at the university just under to get a better understanding. Visiting college campuses, you know, they always just show the good side and not the truth of what being a college student really is like. So I wanted to provide that for students, mainly for students of color, since I do, I do go to a predominantly white school. One thing I love about myself is that I think I'm really confident. Um, being confident is something that a lot of girls today tend to lack and hearing like something that's negative, it just helps me to want to do better and show you that I am whatever you say I'm not. I feel like today in society, girls were looked at as we focus on all the wrong things, we're too focused about our looks, but me, I like looking cute, like that's something that is important to me, but I also like to be smart and smart could range from so many different categories but for me school is really important and I make sure I get my grades where they need to be but I'm also smart in regard to learning other things that schools don't teach um, which is like kind of educating myself on politics educating myself on things that are going on in my community so I find that really important so yes women we do like to look pretty most of us but we also have other aspects to us as well which is brains and being smart Okay, my dream audience is definitely young girls of color, specifically black girls, because I feel there was a point in my life when I was like 12, and when I when I was 12, I started getting into YouTube a little bit. I did stop because people were like mocking me for doing it, but um, at the time, there were not many black women on YouTube, and I feel like I lacked that a lot, and I was starting to want to be something that I really wasn't, because you would see, I'd watch YouTube all the time, and I'd see um, mostly white girls, and we're different <laughs> and I was like I would start trying to act like that and I just really want young girls to see that there's other there's black women that you could look up to and me I'm still young but I'm also uh, I could be like a role model for those girls so my main audience I want is just black girls that are trying to discover themselves and just looking for the right path and not going the wrong way and I hope I could help steer them through that path so I'm majoring in digital media and I'm minoring in marketing. Um, my main goal is to, through digital media, so digital media has to do with producing, screenwriting, directing, and editing. Um, so I want to be able to produce fresh content. Um, there's not someone that I really look up to, Ava DuVernay. Um, she is a very popular um, screenwriter, a black woman. Um, so being able to bring fresh content out, um, regardless if it's like a, I'm still trying to figure out if I'm going to do movies, TV shows, documentaries, I'm still trying to figure that out, but I really want to shake up the industry in that regard. Um, and minoring in marketing, marketing is just being able to brand myself, publicize myself. I've always been interested in marketing and trying to see what are the best techniques to help build my brand and build myself as a young lady. So I really found that important to um, minor in that, even though I am majoring in something else. One thing I don't really focus on and I'm glad that I stopped doing that. Before I would focus on views a lot, and once I stopped focusing on views, that's when they started coming in more. That's one thing I would say with like just staying, sticking to your audience and understanding like what they want to watch. Cause like you kind of gear, you see what videos get more views. So I know I have an idea what my audience likes. So why does the world need the genius of black girls, especially? <laughs> <laughs> of what people don't realize is black women, like black young girls, we go through so much growing up, like to become who we are today. We, I feel like we tend to fight harder and we tend to like want to do better. We work 10 times harder than like a white woman. I'm just gonna generally say that because we have to. And we, like you need the geniuses of black women because you see all the impact that our mothers, our grandmothers, our aunts, they, they have put into our lives. And this entire country was built off of black people and black women were like the backbone of that. Like we need black women to be the geniuses of the world. Cause we are already, but I just wanted to be a trademark right there. <laughs>
Was it A, Whitney Houston, B, Shaka Khan, C, Aretha Franklin, or D, Diana Ross? B, Shaka Khan. Ooh, okay, all right. <laughs> How many Grammys does Beyonce have? A, 32, B, 23, C, 21, or D, 19? Wow, oh my God, that's hard. <laughs> I'm gonna go with C. D. I'm gonna go with D. No, I'm D. wrong. Is D. Oh, D. 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 Okay. I'm gonna say D. D. I'm sorry, but you are incorrect. Oh, what is it? <laughs> it is B23. Oh, oh my god, I thought C was 23. I was kind of right, but then I changed it anyway. You so did. You did. No, okay. <laughs> Who was the lead singer for the Fugees? A. Alicia Keys. B. Janelle Monet. C. Lauren Hill. Or D. Mary J. Bly. The Fuji. The Fuji. Oh God. <laughs> um. <laughs> I never heard the Fuji. So it's F. Who are the Fuji? A. Alicia Keys. Uh huh. B. Janelle Monet. C. Lauren Hill. Or D. Mary J. Bly. C. Lauren Hill. You're correct. Oh, yay! Okay. <laughs> what are the Fugees? I never heard of them. Oh my god! Tommy and Chucky were best friends in what 90s cartoon? A. The Rugrats, B. Hey Arnold, C. Doug, or D. The Proud Family? A. The Rugrats. Correct. Yes. Correct. <laughs> LeBron James was originally drafted by which NBA team? A. LA Lakers, B. Indiana Pacers, C. Miami Heat, or D. Cleveland Cavaliers? C. Miami Heat? Is I, it a C or A? I don't know. I am sorry. What is it? Which it one? is D. The Cleveland Cavaliers. Oh, yeah, he did go back. That was the big thing. Oh, you're right. Okay. I know he was on Miami Heat for a while. So, but you got three out of five, right? Okay. So, okay. you got majority right. Yay. Okay. You won't take away your genius today. All right. Yay. <laughs> Awesome. Thank awesome. <laughs> Dance is definitely like my way of like expressing myself. So I feel Free. I don't feel any type of stress. I'm just really myself when I'm able to just dance and communicate with my body. Hi, my name is Naja Malone. I'm 17 years old and I live in Atlanta, Georgia. Growing up, I was very, I was a very happy child. I loved dancing and singing at home, and my parents noticed that. But also, when I would like go to school and stuff, I was very quiet, introverted. So like, well, why don't we put you in dance? So that was like my way to become more social, and it was like a perfect way for me to express myself growing up. So, yeah. When I learned choreography, I have a costume, makeup, and I go on stage, I'm like a completely different person. Like, I'm in like a whole nother, I'm a new character, I'm a new person, and it's just really, I'm able to channel like another side of me that I you don't always see. So I'm able to like let that out, and I'm no longer the shy, introverted, nausea. It's like a new, a new dance on me. Greatness, to me, I think it's like a sense of empowerment, confidence, just being yourself and being you, your own form of greatness. I can't wait to hopefully, of course, graduate and go to college and major in dance. And then after that, I would love to like go and run a company and travel the world or like go on Broadway, just being successful in like what I love to do. I think one trait I love about myself that I wouldn't want to trade is that I feel like I'm really humble. Not to sound cocky. But I feel like I'm very humble and I'm a kind person. I feel like no matter how successful I may be or become, I think I'm always going to have that. And I think that's a trait people would like to have. And hopefully I can have more friends and more people in my life because of that. Okay, I'm not the best at this genre of dance compared to like ballet and contemporary, but I love jazz. Um, 
it's like it's not hip-hop and it's not contemporary it's like a fusion of both and i feel like i'm really able to express myself and show my strengths and just like perform and have personality so jazz is definitely my favorite genre i feel like black women in america and just in the world in general they face a lot of hardships and trauma and they've had to overcome a lot. I think black women are probably the most strongest people in the world. So I like to carry that with me. I think that helps me have like a sense of power and confidence in myself, knowing that I'm African-American, I got melanin, you know? So I like to um, embrace that. Recently, Beyonce reposted um, before I let go. She had like a challenge, a dance challenge. And she reposted my video, me and my friends. And that was just really exciting for me because it's like, wow, Beyonce knows like, I exist, you know? <laughs> um, but yes, I that was probably a really fun and big moment, like, wow, Beyonce. And her whole homecoming Netflix series is really empowering with, you know, the HBCUs and all that stuff. So that was really cool and that was probably like a really dope experience. Black girls are like no other. The world needs black girls and we're just different. Okay, first one. What is the name of the book written by the former first lady, Michelle Obama? A, The Path Made Clear, B, Becoming, C, First Look, or D, Standing Your Strength? B. <laughs> okay. <laughs> No, it's A, isn't it? 13? It was A. It was A. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> but I was like, oh, it's okay. It was close. It was a close one. Okay, let's see. What college did the TV series A Disney World take place on? A, Howard University, B, Spelman, C, North Carolina A. Okay. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> okay, I think I'm like, this is wrong. But I'm gonna say A. It's D, isn't it? It's D! You're so I'm so <laughs> That's why I do that. I know the answer. You literally said, I know, see? I'm just all of them. Okay. Finish the slide of the Old Town Road. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna take my horse to the Old Town Road. I'm gonna A, ride till I can't no more. B, ride till I can go home. C, ride till I'm all alone. Or D, ride till I say so. A. Boom. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> and last one. Da -da -da -da. What athlete founded a school in his hometown of Akron? Ohio called the I Promise School. A. Steph Cur Curry. B. Colin Kaepernick. C. LeBron James. Or D. Kim C. Boom. C. Yay! Yeah, technically, <laughs> technically, I got. <laughs> technically, <laughs> technically, I got them all right. I was just second guessing. <laughs> I was second guessing myself. Hey, it's hard for me to do on camera. But <laughs> I like to go over all my answers. <laughs> I got them all right. <laughs> okay. Oh God, that's it. That was yes. it. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna give you your five out of five, baby. Thank you.
dream that you can do anything dream that you can be anybody and then believe in yourself believe that you can accomplish any goal that you want to accomplish and then once you dream and believe you can put it into action My name is Simone Bridges. I am 13 years old. I am from Jacksonville, Florida, and I am a baker and a Ustream advocate. My grandma inspired me to bake because ever since I was three years old, I will always go over to her house and make all the different types of desserts we would use. Cakes, cupcakes, pies, cookies, we would bake everything. I experienced it from my grandma teaching me how to do all these different types of desserts and I love the way they taste. I love how she would help let me help her measure out the ingredients and it was just fun. It was hands on. It was hands on activity. But my mom is a person who inspired me to have my own business. Well greatness is a feeling that you get when you feel like you have achieved a goal or you have reached success. Like for example when I was on the Steve Harvey show that's when I felt like I have reached success. Like I really made a difference. I really stepped up my game because never in a million years and in my past I would have never thought that I could be on TV. Girl, you better shut up. The biggest and brightest dream. Um, well, I have two. To be able one well the first one is to be able to give back to like not just my city to like all like other cities and states and like go to like places like Africa and places that nobody have ever heard of where kids don't have the ability to like have as much like technology, advanced technology like we have and give back to their community. And I also want to have my own big, like big bakery. But I came up with the name Goddess Food Factory because in the beginning I wanted Angel Food Factory. But I was like, no, because somebody had already taken that. And my mom was like, you have to use something else. So then I thought again, I was like, well, you know, I always thought of myself as an angel. What's another word for an angel that's even better? A goddess, somebody that works in her own purpose. So I was like, you know what? I want to choose goddess for the first part. I was like, okay, so angel, goddess food factory. And I said it a couple of times. And at first my mom didn't think that it rained. And then she was like, you know what? The more she said it, she was like, oh, this is good, Simone. This is good because now I can have food. So I can have like, food and desserts and then a factory for the factory in the back for the goddess food factory i thought learn long term and it really worked out my extreme baking boxes are baking boxes that are infused with string which is science technology reading engineering arts and mathematics so for kids who are kind of struggling inside of school my extreme baking boxes will help them better understand the concepts of string maybe what if we can pair what I love doing which is baking with stream we put it out there it was like working for everyone it was like yes this is the key the world well needs the genius of black girls because we put out a different perspective like we're not just gonna let anybody say anything and just let it be there like we're gonna fight for what we believe in and we're not afraid to speak up and stand up for ourselves. We need more of us to stand up for ourselves and more of us to say and encourage other little girls to learn that it's okay to look the way that we look. It's fine, we are great the way we are. So that's why I think that it's great to have us in this world. What is the top selling cookie in America? A, Chips Ahoy, B, Oreos, C, Keebler, or D, Mrs. Fields? Okay, so two of those brands I have no idea about. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna say, wait, okay, name name the first one again. The, the first one was A, Chips Ahoy, and B, Oreos. Oreos, okay. And Ahoy. C, Keebler, or D, Mrs. Fields. I wanna say Jesus, because I, I want, I'm gonna say Oreos because Oreos have so many different like flavors now that I feel like they're popping because they have so many different flavors. But I, I'm not really sure. I'm gonna say Oreos. I'm not. <gasps> you're correct. I am. You got it. Wow. You got it. <laughs> okay. Okay. You're starting off good. The acronym SMH stands for what phrase? A. Still my heart. 
B, share my happiness, C, spark <laughs> my hunger, or D, shaking my head. Oh, SMH? Oh, shaking my head. Correct. <laughs> I made that up. Music artist Aubrey Graham is better known by his stage name as Chance the Rapper at A, B, Tyler the Creator, C, Drake, or D, Childish Gambino. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know a lot about rappers. Um, look, I don't even know who would know Tyler. I don't know who that is, but um, and I, I don't. I feel like it's definitely not Drake. I don't. I don't think it is. I never heard nothing like that from Drake. Um, Childish Gambino. I've heard of him, but I don't really know like who that is. But I've heard of that. I want to say. Chance the rapper. You are incorrect. Uh, <laughs> it's Drake. It's Drake. It was Drake. Drake. What? It was I never heard of nothing like that friend. <laughs> Which of these apps was first first launched? A Instagram, B Twitter, or C Pinterest? <laughs> okay, I know it's not Instagram. Um but I feel like Twitter was like right in the middle or before. I don't know, because Twitter was like a long time. Twitter? You're correct. Yeah, you got it. In your favorite movie that you mentioned, A Black Panther, where was Eric Killmonger raised as a child? A, Chicago, <laughs> B, Wakanda, C, Philadelphia, or D, California? Well, I, I think I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure Wakanda is not a place. <laughs> so, <laughs> definitely not Wakanda. Um, that's hard. I feel like where it showed was like very, very busy. So, I'm going to say Chicago. I don't know. You're correct. It was correct. California. Killer, California. You were close. You were oh close on the last two. You, were, <laughs> you did get three out of five, though, right?